Vodka. Welcome to LA. Welcome to Battle Rap Radio LA. As you can Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. As you guys can see, we're doing things a little bit differently today. Uh, we have a regular guest and a special host in yes, this sir. situation. We have yes, uh, Marcus Griffin. He's going to be here interviewing me and Larry today. Right, so. right, right. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. <clears throat> so let's just jump right into it. All right, let's jump right into it. Uh, so uh, as you said, it's a little bit different. You're you're being interviewed today. Right. It's, right. This, this is a little different for me, but I'm ready for it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, where'd you grow up at? Uh, I was born in Cleveland. Okay. Born and raised in Cleveland, but when I was young, I also moved to D.C., Virginia, lived in Arizona for a little bit, went back to Cleveland, then went back to D.C., so I've lived, like, all over the place. The longest I've gone to a school is, like, two years, so I've been uh, all around. All around, all around. Yeah. Ended up in L.A., though. It ended up in L.A. Yep. Best place to be. Yep, there we go. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, yeah. So you was Cut talking that. about <laughs> school a little bit. Uh, each state you was in the school a couple years. So yeah. if I were to meet you in high school, what kind of kid were you? It depends what grade. Ninth grade. Let's say was. let's 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 go with high school. Let's go with high school. Okay. Uh, well, the ninth grade, I was like straight A's and B's. I played basketball. Okay. I didn't do shit. And then tenth grade, I smoked weed. I drank. Right, I did. Right. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it de it depends on what year you caught me at. Right. But overall, I was just, I was I was a good kid. I just did. I took chances and risks and shit like most okay. people. You know what I'm saying? So were you like the popular student? Were you kind of just reserved back to yourself? I was not popular in ninth grade. I was popular tenth, eleventh, and twelfth grade. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So you mentioned uh, sports. Who's a couple of your favorite athletes growing up? Kobe. Kobe. Rest in peace. Yep. Yeah. The yep. greatest. No disrespect right, to Michael right. Jordan. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely Kobe Bryant was a big, big, big influence on me. Uh, yeah, he was that guy. You know what I mean? I grew right. up. When I was 16, he got drafted into the league. Okay. So I kind of grew up just kind of. Grew up with Kobe. Grew yeah. Up with Kobe. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. We're only like a year apart. Okay. You ever practice uh, the fadeaway jump shot? You you hit any of those? Oh, all the time. All okay. the time. I did okay. everything Kobe okay. did. Okay. Right, right, right. So uh, what was a couple of your favorite artists growing up? Um, my first tape was DJ Quick and Ice Cube. Okay. Yeah, I had DJ. So I started off with them, but I listened to like everything that was on. MTV, BET. I like like DOS effects. I liked NWA. I liked I liked damn near MC Hammer when that right, came right. out when I was like twelve. You know what I'm saying? What about Wu Tang? But, Wu Tang. You got love for the Wu Tang? I, I respect the Wu Tang. Okay, that wasn't okay. my particular get down. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Right, you know what I'm saying? right, I love right, with Bone right, Thugs. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I like Twista. You know what I mean? A lot of different people. Yeah, Little Wayne, right. of course. Squad Up. Right, yeah, right, I right. Young niggas. Right. Yeah, so yeah, I like it. a lot of uh, a lot of shit. Okay. Anything okay. hip hop, I fuck with it. Anything hip hop, yeah. that's right. Freestyles, right. all that. That's right. So uh, let's start from the beginning of the beginning. Well, we got past the beginning of the beginning, but uh, let's get into the battle rap journey. Uh, how'd you get into battle rap? Uh, just from loving hip hop. That sounded funny. <laughs> 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 From my love for hip hop, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? But like everybody in hip hop has battled at some point, you know what I mean? Right, Whether it right. be Jay Z and Nas or right. Busy B and Cool More D, or I think that was okay. them. But everybody battles and I particularly like 
battle rap because it's normally uh, more creative, more aggressive, more potent. You okay. know what I mean? Okay. Like uh, Ice Cube diss to NWA. Like, right, right. Uh, DJ's Qu- uh, DJ Quick diss to uh, MTA. Shit like that. Okay. Okay. So uh, what inspired you to start your own league with Sandtrap? Well, at the time, I was, uh, I was working at this gig, and I would just be on my iPhone all the time, just watching YouTube videos. Okay. And this video of, uh, I think it was. It was Math and Iron Solomon. No, 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 no. The first one I saw was Johnny Storm versus Maz Joe. Okay. I saw this yeah. battle through grind, grind time. time. Yeah, and I just started watching, like, binge watched all the battles. Okay. And uh, they didn't, like, post shit for, like, a week. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, well, fuck. I was like, we could do this shit. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right, Just right. like belittling all the effort they put into it. And so, uh, yeah, I told Larry about it. We knew some rappers. Okay. We found a location, set up the matches, and that was it. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. So basically, right. I was impatient. Yeah. So we <laughs> started impatient. doing our own shit. Yeah. And basically. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, where was your first battle that you hosted when you had mm. Sand Trap? The first battle was in Mesa, Arizona. Shout okay. out to Joe yeah. Messenger. Yeah, the homie, homie Joe. Joe's house. Yeah. So, we did it at okay. his house and we like cleared out this living room, moved the chairs aside, had the little shitty camera. I was the host, Larry was the cameraman, and we just had uh, a couple people two come on to battle. battle. Yeah, we had, yeah, a, we had a two on two battle. Okay. What was it? Uh, Kid White and Cody ADG and Man Fly. Against Cody and Man Fly. Yeah. Then we had J Dog and Hyperlight and L Dub. Right, right. Shout Jay out Frost. to Fan Bam. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was. Yeah, so we only that had like three, three battles. battles. Yeah. Okay, three battles. Yeah, two on two. Uh, one was an impromptu. The other two. Oh, yeah. Right. One of them just happened. But I charged a dollar to get in. Okay. <laughs> and I. <laughs> 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 a dollar to get in. Dollar. Right, yeah, first right. It was a dollar to get in. And yeah. then I made like a whole thing of jungle juice. Yeah, okay. And rolled up a bunch of blunts, and that was it. Really? And that was it. Yeah. And that's how it started. We had a camera, jungle juice, and some weed. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes that's yeah. all it takes. Yeah. That was it. A two battle that card, and uh, yeah. And it was two battles and just, yeah. So it was two battles. Did you say it was two on two or were they one on one battles? There were two one on ones and then one two on two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you did a couple events for Sandtrap. We did a lot of events. Yeah. So after our third event at Joe's house, event at Joe's house, uh, this dude who had a bar wanted us to come there on Wednesdays to start doing the battles there. Right. What year was this? 2000 and shit. 2009? 2009. 2009. Yeah. Okay. It was a spot in Tempe called Shea Monet. Yeah. And, oh, okay. uh, it was just a little shitty bar in the right, middle of right, nowhere. Right. And he was like, yeah, I want you to host your uh, events here on Wednesdays. He was like, I'll give you my first sponsor. He gave me unlimited ice, uh, Long Island iced teas. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was it. That's yeah, all right, I got right, out right. the deal. Yeah, this shit on tap. I got a venue and unlimited Long Island yeah. iced teas. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we were doing it every fucking Wednesday, which isn't a lot of time to prepare. So I was just taking any. If yeah. you wanted to rap, come on, I got you. I'll set you up. Okay. So we had Crazy a lot cars, of. It yeah, was oversaturated. Right. It was like a lot of talent, but it was a lot of bullshit. And everybody, everybody, yeah. everybody basically. And they only had a week to prepare. Right. So right. yeah, so we had to kind of figure that shit out as we went along. So how many events did you do? When you were at that place getting your Long Island iced tea, Shit, how many we weeks? Like we seven, seven to ten. Like, yeah, seven to like ten seven events to ten in a row. Yeah. Seven to ten. Yeah, in a row. In a row. In a yeah. Wednesday, yeah, this is Wednesday, 2009. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. every Wednesday. Yeah. Then we yeah. had the there clubhouse. Was some good ones in there. Yeah, we had the clubhouse. We, we didn't had, even had uh, the clubhouse. The there big... was this clubhouse in this apartment complex that we just fucking took yeah. over. Right, right, right. Yeah, we just went in there and just started filming. And then the the Big Fish Pub. Oh, yeah, we had another venue. Yeah, we fucked that off, though. So we're the... <laughs> yeah, fight broke out. Yeah, that shit yeah. fucked up. Tour the club. But, yeah. So when you guys first started with them and you figured out you were having your first event, how long did it take to prepare that? The first event? Shit. I think we called uh, J-Dog, Hyperlight, yeah. and J-Frost and put that together. It was like, like a week. Yeah. yeah. Like a week. A week or two, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't a lot of preparation at all. And how many battles was it for that night? The first one? Yeah. Just three. Just three one-on-one yeah. battles? Yeah. Okay. So you said you started this in 2009. Yeah. 
Okay, so when did you post your first official battle on the internet? Uh, that was May. Right? No, nah, no, it was September 18th, 2009. And this is all under Sand Trap. Under Sand Trap. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, we was watching Grind Time and yeah, that was it, really. Yeah, and then King it. of the Dot came along. Yeah. Okay, okay. So uh, out of all the Sand Trap, did, how, how, actually, how long did you guys do the Sand Trap for? You started in 2009. That's the thing. Like, so we did the second or third event at Joe's house. Okay. And then uh, I remember telling Nitty and Jay Frost, and I was just talking out of my ass too. I was like, because Grind Time was like the biggest battle rap company. Right. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to get us uh, Arizona division. I'm going to just get us locked in and we're going to be Grind Time. Right. I didn't have like no plan, no, no nothing. I'm just talking, just hyping them up and shit. Okay. And uh, I ended up, Larry made a highlight video and I booked a flight to New York. Because I knew direct the owner of Grind Time was going to be battling there. So I booked a flight out there with this fucking DVD, went to the battle, ran into him, told him who I was, gave him a little 15 second pitch, gave him the DVD. He watched it in. Grind Time Arizona was born. Yeah. 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 Wow. Thank you. So that's how you were introduced to Lush and Direct. How did you get in contact with them after the video was made? Because you kind of didn't touch on that. I didn't. I just flew to New York. Flew I never to spoke York. to him until I saw him and said, I want to have my own division in your company. But did you guys like exchange emails? How did you meet up with him? I, I saw the flyer. <laughs> oh, I saw, you saw a flyer. flyer. <laughs> yeah. I saw a flyer. Right, I knew he right. was going to be in the yeah. building. So I just flew to New York and went straight to him. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, exactly. So exactly. About how, uh, how long were you in the office showing him the video? How long did that take for you to secure that? This shit happened in New York on the corner outside with like 100 people on the block. And mm. I just ran up to him like, I'm Keith, I got this league in Arizona, watch this right, DVD, right, right, I got right, talent. Right. And he was like, all right, son, I'll get back with you. And he got back with me. And then wow. uh, real quick, he came for an event. Yeah, How long after that? Yeah, That you... was probably like a year later. And that was at the uh, Italian or? Yeah, that was at uh, uh, Mihana's. Restaurant? Yeah, yeah Mihana's, the Armenian place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Mihana. It's another location we had. Yeah. Right, right. But he got us in touch with Lush One because he was already on the West Coast. Okay. And shout out to Lush because he shout came out to Lush for real. Yeah. Shout out to Lush. Yeah. Out yeah. Lush. Lush. He's Let's always go. gave us a lot of support, and I've always appreciated that. Okay. Okay. So when you uh, met with them originally, were there any like contracts, guidelines you had to sign with them, or how that go? Just Not word them out. No, nah, we just pulled up. I had the homegirls pick them up. We met at the venue. Okay. And we just smoked and talked, and that was it. And that's it. That was it. And never signed and nothing. Never. Wow. I don't even think we knew each other's real names for, like, years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we did, it was just on the word. So, 09, you did Sand Trap. What year was it when you uh, flew out to New York to go meet him? March 2010. 2010. A year later. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. Okay. On so... You started Grind Time Arizona. Mm -hmm. How many events did you say you had with that? We probably did like 10. Yeah. Probably like 10 events. 10 events. Because we're doing those pretty quick too, like every month. Okay. Yeah. We knocked out probably like 10. So who are some of the big names that you uh, had when you uh, did these events? Hmm. Are you saying big like now or big when we booked them? Some of the names that came from Sand Trap. Um, <clears throat> who's your biggest star? Who's the biggest, the biggest Who's the biggest one who made it from Sand Trap in 09 when you I'd started? I'd have to say Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Hands down. Hands down. Nitty. Yeah. He started so, out in Joe's yeah. living room, his first he battle. I'll never forget. Uh, he was, I don't even know how Nitty found it because he was from the west side and we we're in Mesa. Yeah. Right. But he was there and he came up to me and said, like, yo, get me a battle. And I said, like, okay. And like he didn't like he was there. Like I remember on like a hoodie, and he was real quiet and reserved, and didn't say much. Right. But then when he showed up to the battle, he was like a whole different person, and just yeah, he's fucking. He was a star back then. Yeah. Wow. He was yeah. from day one. From day one, he had it. Yeah, Arizona native. Shouts out to him. Yeah. Man. Shouts out yeah, to shout him. Shout out to Rum Nitty. So, uh, real quick, let's touch on the one of your more major battles you had. 
with some of the bigger oh, names from the, then and now. The celebrity oh, you know club. what I'm talking celebrity, about. Yeah, celebrity. Yeah, definitely the duel in the desert. Duel in the desert. Let's yeah. get into that real Yeah, quick. Rum Nitty, he headlined that. that. We okay. had uh, him versus Arsenal. We had the Charlie Clips versus Immaculate. Mm. It was Danny Myers versus Averb. Mm. Oh, we had Daylight versus Real Deal when Daylight tried to take a shit on stage. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It went viral. That really happened, yeah. Yeah. So... With that shit. That was a crazy card. That was, that crazy. was a crazy card. Yeah. What was one of the most uh, favorite or most memorable ba- battles from that night? Daylight, for sure. That shit was definitely <laughs> daylight. Yeah. 100%. That there was the most go. memorable. Shouts out then, Daylight. Uh, Shouts out yeah. Daylight. Averb and Danny Myers, though. That was a good that one. That battle was fire. That was okay. a good one. That but what was happened fire. with Daylight, he had a costume on. And I remember he had me come down to the <laughs> dressing room, say, oh, put on this costume. It was like this headless, detachable head thing. So right. you put it on. Sleepy hollow but shit. But the shoulders go up to your head, and then you put the fake head on your head. You know what I mean? It was yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know. I never asked. But he was out there doing this shit, and it wasn't hitting. And they started booing him. Right. So he was like, you boo one, boo one more time, <laughs> I'm going to boo-boo on this stage. <laughs> And they booed him again, and he fucking dropped trial and, like, literally tried to shit on the stage. So when that happened, security came and grabbed him and, like, picked him up, pants still down, and, like, ran Damn. him off the stage. So I'm thinking, like, maybe this is part of I'm like, this nigga's fucking creative. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. He's doing I'm it. like, he got in touch with security, and I didn't even know. You know what I mean? I thought it was part of the battle, and then when security ran up to me, they thought I was in on it. So I'm like, no. Nah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was like, I ain't got nothing to do with that. But yeah, that shit went viral. That yeah. Did. yeah, that shit went that viral. Was... Yeah. It still that's gets right. referenced to this day. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. That was a crazy event. And uh, QP, yeah. was, QP, QP was uh, late to that event, yeah, right? Yeah, he battled. And was that when uh, he? Johnny Storm. Shout out to Johnny okay. Storm. Shout but that Johnny was uh, when QP spit on this. Oh, yeah. I forgot about on that. On his Circle K. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that was weird. What happened with that? QP, just doing QP things. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was, that, yeah, that was a weird trip. That's when this whole scandal started, but I'm not going to get into that. Right, right, right. We could yeah. skip right over that. We could skip that. over that, yeah. Right over that, no problem. Yeah. I'll edit that out. So you had barely two weeks to prepare when you did your first event with the place when you did it every week. What was the name of that place again? Um, shame, shame on Man. So for this ma- more major event that you had, how long did it take to prepare that? Um, I had six months. Six I months. I started immediately and I worked all the way up to like the last day. Okay. But yeah, it was a, it was a big event because the day before, like I had to book 30 rooms, like 40 flights. We booked DJ Drama the day before. Okay. Shout out to DJ Drama. Shout out to mm-hmm. DJ yeah. Drama. And then uh, we had the after party at pink rhino the strip club okay but we ended up going the day before and then the first night they got there we took everybody out to scottsdale to eat so it was like a whole experience you know what i mean for three days right so it was not just and, uh, the venue but it was everything else included that basketball game was crazy oh yeah then it was, hooped a bunch with everybody. was hooping and shit yeah it was a lot of uh if you go online there's at least a hundred videos on the duel in the desert Oh, wow. From different media outlets. Yeah, so it was a pretty big event, especially for Arizona. Yeah. 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 You actually made that happen. So, uh, oh, yeah. Shout out to Teddy Grizzly because he's the one that actually financed that entire event. I only put it together. Mm. Shout out to Teddy. I know you're watching. Shouts out, Teddy, for watching, man. Yeah. So, to have one of those events, what would you say it would cost to book the building and the rappers? Because you clearly had to pay all the battle rappers for this event. It wasn't. That event was astron- It was way, way, way too much money. The venue was like seven thousand, mm. but the way it's set up, the more people that show up, the less you pay. So once you hit like seven fifty, they take like a thousand off and shit like that. But um, and then we had the pay per view set up as well. Okay. But that event, uh, I don't want to. Sorry, Teddy. I'm. It was like ninety thousand dollars. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's definitely not cheap. Not cheap at all. Right. Yeah, it, right. Was, it was a big event, but it was one of the best events, even to this day. And what year was that? That was October fourth, two thousand fourteen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So then you uh, stopped doing that for a little while, and then. Uh, 
came I didn't up. really stop. I went to prison. Okay. Well, that's right. That's right. Well, I wasn't. I, I didn't want to say it. I wasn't going to say anything. But oh no, no, no. That's public up. information. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's why right. I stopped because the whole okay. time I was planning that event, I was also fighting a case that I ended up going to prison for for three years. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I'm not ashamed or proud of it. But it's just, it is what it is. No, nah, for sure, most definitely. Yeah, most you know definitely. that though. Yeah, no, you I know, I know, I know. Yeah. But you know, trying yeah. to keep the energy light, trying oh, to keep yeah. it light. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So, uh, Battle Rap Radio LA, we're yeah. here. It's the one year old, yeah. <laughs> so, one year ago today, you did you did this. But uh, let's get into how you started it. When did you come up with the idea for Battle Rap Radio? Mm, this is definitely, I think I might have to phone a friend for this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, so what happened was Monique and I had a show in Sherman Oaks. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. We had a show in Sherman Oaks, Radiate Motivate. Okay. Check it out on YouTube, Radiate Motivate. There are mm -hmm. six episodes up there. Yeah. Right. And, oh, I didn't expect that to get in the fall. <laughs> Damn, y'all too nice. Y'all way too nice. <laughs> so on Radiate Motivate, we talk about topics like trauma, self-doubt, overthinking. Uh, help me out here. Confidence. Confidence. Right. Yeah, so we just have conversations about that. And at that time, I just got to L.A., and then at that time, Caffeine and URL linked up, and they were in LA a lot. So we were thinking, like, we could do a show we were thinking together collectively. Right, 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 right. That we could do a show about battle rap because I loved what we did together, but talking about battle rap for me is effortless. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, for that, yeah, yeah. like, we had to actually prepare, you know? Okay. But for, like, I could talk battle rap forever. So we came up with the idea to do it there on that show. We did three episodes there, but decided to go independent. Mm -hmm. And here we are. Wow. Yeah. That's big. That's big. So you guys started the station. Who'd you get into contact with when you did your first radio station interview? Because I remember you guys were in a different building. Yeah. Yeah. So we, how'd you, how did that, how did that start? I don't know. Monique did it. Uh, she figured it out. She called a guy that owned a radio station at Sherman Oaks. Okay. And got us on the fucking show. Wow. Yeah. So like yeah. shout out to Monique for that. Shout out to Mo. She did Monique. that. She did that. Yeah, she did. Yep. Yep. That's what's up. Yeah, so that's, that's how I started. That's what's up. So uh with the one year in so far, doing what you've been doing, uh, what are some of the biggest hurdles you had to overcome or what are some of the biggest steps you had to do to get this off the ground up and running? Because it's not you just come up with the idea and here we are. Right. Honestly, the biggest hurdles, like, for me is balancing my time. Okay. But the actual biggest hurdles were on the production side, like, figuring out the RSSS feeds and figuring out. I don't even know what the fuck that means. I'm not going to lie. I don't even know what that shit is. But honestly, like, all the hard shit, uh, Monique does that. Right. The back end shit, the technical shit. Okay. That part of the hard shit. Yeah. So she, she does all the hard shit and just makes it look good. Right, right, yeah. right. My hard part is just fucking not drinking too much syrup before an interview. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when you started the station, uh, who was the first interview you had? Uh, my boy, Poison Pin, Poison BK's Pen. own. Poison yeah. Pen. Yeah. yeah he, Shouts uh, out to Poison. That's my guy. That's my guy for sure. He was actually out here and did a concert for Rhyme Fest 2021. So that little snippet you saw, that's how we got to go to that event. But yeah, he's always been cool. He's done a lot for the culture. It doesn't get recognized a lot for it, but mm -hmm. he's definitely somebody that people should uh, look into and appreciate. Right, right, right. So you had a couple of interviews so far with the Battle Rap Radio. Mm -hmm. uh, I seen the Geechee Gotti one. That was really good. How'd you get in contact with him? Uh, at the event. We saw him at the event, just, okay. you know, just mix and mingle and network and chopping it up, you know what I mean? Because right, I'm already right. familiar with so many people. Okay. It was kind of inevitable, I guess, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because right. we're at it every event. Okay, so you just yeah. walk right up to him and talk to him and oh, just yeah. got right into it, huh? Yeah, and that's the thing, like, the battle rap culture is probably 
the coolest culture mm-hmm. of right, people that right. you will ever meet. Right. right yeah. Like real right, shit. Right. Real right. shit. Shouts out to all the yeah. battle rappers out there, man. Yeah. Doing what they're doing, man. Right. But the irony of it is people are very aggressive with their lyrics, but before and after the events, it's the coolest vibe ever. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what right. I mean? So it's worth checking out in person if you haven't done it. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. So uh, what about uh, the Freeway Rick Ross interview? How'd you get in contact with him? Oh, shout out to my guy, Rico. Rico. Shout out to my man, Rico. He actually set that up. You know what I mean? Working hard behind the scenes for us, but he's definitely pulled a lot of strings to make this happen. So I want to give a shout out to Rico, too, for making a lot of things happen for us. What's up, man? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, uh... We talked a little bit. You got Geechee Gotti, Freeway Rick Ross. You started with Sand Trap 09. Ran into Lush and Direct the very next year. Grind time happened. Yeah. How many battles would you say you've actually put together? Oh, actual battles have uh, probably about 100 and about something. 100 battles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, over yeah, over under something. If you go to Sand Trap 7989 mm. on YouTube, Sand Trap 7989, you can watch all the Sand Trap battles. It's like 108 uploads. Wow. It's some classic shit on there. There's some real, real, real classics on there. It's, it's worth watching. There's some yeah, gems right, in that right, motherfucker. Right. Shouts out to right. Tazzy G. Yeah, Tazzy G. One of the all time classics. Shout out to XO. He XO. Was Shout out to J Frost. J Frost. Yeah, Stays on. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> oh, shit. Rocky. Yeah. Shout out to Rocky, too. Right. Yeah, yeah. There was, some, there was some talent in there, but again, we had a lot of just right. oversaturated shit at some points. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing, man. Yeah. I got Sounds a question like a for lot you. of phone calls. No. Sounds like a lot of phone calls. Yeah, that's I do. A, yeah, that's probably the hardest part. So what's next? Next, shit. Oh, next. Yeah, most importantly, obviously, thank you. The fucking Battle Rap Radio LA Edible Line. Let's yeah. Edibles. edibles that are healthy, gluten free, vegan, homemade, and get you fucked up. Right, right, right. Yeah, so that's the next big thing. And then also, we're going to have us featuring the Keith Cookies. The peanut butter Keith Cookies. Keith Cookies. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's only right. It's only right. And I got to give a shout out to Lonnie and Dale. Thank you guys so much for coming through. Right. The source with the recipe. I said thank you. (laughs) And Keith Cookies uh, hitting. Thank you. Anyway, man, let's go get right towards the end. Uh, is there any sponsors that you had that you wanted to shout out? Oh, yeah, of course. I want to give a shout out to City Vodka, our official sponsor today. They definitely brought all the liquor through for the event. And you can go on the taste testing tour. Just go to the website, mycityvodka.com. And if you're in Arizona, that's where they're located. All right, man. Yeah. Well... Oh, then we also have another sponsor I'd like to give a shout out to, uh, Spin Cam Pro hey. okay. by Eddie Barber. They came through. Yes. Definitely came through. So if you ever want to utilize their services, they are the life of the party and they create awesome content. Okay. So go check them out. Right, Absolutely. right. All right, man. With all that being said, I guess we got to wrap it up. That's Anything else you want to say? I mean, it's the one-year anniversary once again. We're in the oh, heart of L.A. Yeah. We're in the heart thank of you. L.A. right downtown. Yeah, thank you. Is that it? Uh, yeah, just uh, tune in, subscribe, like, share, follow, all that good shit. And, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, so Shout out. That's a wrap. That's it, bro. That's it, bro. We did it. We did it like a mom. Thank you guys. We're gonna watch a quick video that Monique put together of our journey of a battle rap radio up to the day. The unknown. Sunday night. We're preparing. Battle rap radio. LA. With Keith Wright. It's Tuesday. So it's crunch time. It's Friday night. Yeah, I'm excited. 
focused on ready to work. Saturday, uh, get ready. Oh shit. <laughs> and we are gonna manifest greatness with this. You are now. You are now. Tune ten to the most exclusive battle rap radio station, Battle Rap Radio LA. It's your boy Simrag, and right now you tuned into Battle Rap Radio LA. If you want to know what's going on with the culture, tune in. Battle Rap Radio LA. Battle Rap Radio LA. Battle Rap Radio LA. My nigga Keith Wright, man. Battle Rap Radio LA. You know what it is. <laughs> Yo, what's good? Right here. He has been long tenured in the battle rap game. He done helped discover some of the best people in this sport. So let's get it popping. Battle rap radio LA. Battle rap radio LA. Battle rap radio LA. Battle rap radio LA, man. Battle rap radio LA, man. Radio LA. Battle Rap Radio LA. Now watching Battle Rap LA. The Battle Rap Radio LA. The Battle Rap Radio LA. The Battle Rap Radio. Battle Rap LA. Ooh. App Radio with Keith Wright. Oh. Battle Rap Radio LA. Battle Rap Radio LA though. Battle Rap Radio. Battle LA. Rap Radio LA. Battle Rap Radio LA. Battle Rap Radio LA. You know, whenever I'm in LA, I tap in with Battle Rap Radio LA. You know the vibes. Bing bong. Battle Rap Radio LA, my man Keith Wright. Shout out to y'all for bringing me here and promote my album. What you do for others selflessly. Battle Rap Radio LA. Battle Rap Radio LA. Battle Rap Radio LA. We here for y'all. Y'all here for us, man. Salute y'all, man. Keep doing God's work. Battle Rap Radio LA. 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 No. What? This, this show has been booked for months. Get out of here. And this is Battle Rap Radio LA. Battle Rap Radio LA. Yes, sir. I told you. I told you. Oh. Help the phone. Battle Rap Radio LA. Not the Battle Rap Media LA, man. Y'all always tap in with me. Appreciate y'all for playing the music and spinning the music. It's the Battle Rap Radio LA. Shout out to Battle Rap LA. Battle Rap Radio LA. Battle Rap Radio LA. Yo, headshot. It's a Battle Rap Radio LA. Battle Rap LA game. Battle Rap Radio LA. Battle Rap Radio LA. Battle Rap Radio LA. Shout out to Keith Wright, man. Keep doing what you fucking do, man. Battle Rap LA. You know how we do. He in LA, so who, who better? Who better? Let's go! Hey, when you're on the West Coast, tap in, man. They making it happen out here.